number one message that I, I want parents to understand, and I think our book in parts, is that this is an attack on our children's innocence and on their resilience. Um, and the end result, the end goal for parents, for normal parents, is to raise resilient adults who are able to function as adults and fully functioning adults. Um, that's not the goal of the left. The goal of the left is to raise uh, individuals who are highly susceptible to their ideology, who will become foot soldiers, because at the end of the day, you can't foment a revolution. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to foment a revolution. You can't do that among a populace who are happy and who are stable. And so they are trying to destabilize our society from the ground up, from children on up. And if you look at the statistics on mental health, on anxiety, on depression, every metric of mental health, it is really bad among ch children, especially, and getting worse on a year to year basis. They are succeeding. Let's talk a little bit about climate change because we didn't go there and it is in the book. Um, yeah. The impact of climate fear uh, on, yeah. on young kids today. This is something that really concerns me. I remember mm -hmm. in my day it was nuclear annihilation because I yeah. was pre pre Reagan yeah. or Thatcher and some of my youth. So um, I'm after you and it was acid rain. Right. And okay. the, the ozone right. layer. The so ozone in that case, is, is it also. just something that's always there that we don't need to really yes. be too concerned? But this one seems I mean, to be pretty bad, <laughs> like the way that they're, they're selling it hard. Right. Right. I mean, so we never know. It, like nuclear annihilation could have happened and climate change, you know, I don't I don't really have a strong opinion on climate change. Is it real? Is it not real? The severity of it? Who knows? But coming at it from the perspective of a parent, it's not our kids job to worry about climate change. Right. And it's not their job to, to stay up at night being scared about it. Right. And that's the goal of the left is to make our children into foot soldiers in these climate wars. Greta Thunberg is is the poster girl for climate change revolution. And she wants to have everyone of her generation join arm in arm with her in this in this revolution um and i i cannot open a book about weather or science or go to a museum or a zoo where there's not messaging about this and so no. you know even in our family my children are homeschooled we still have to really be careful to shield our children from documentaries you name it that will not tell our children that the world will not exist by the time they're adults. First of all, I don't believe that's the case, but um, they want our children to believe that's the case. They want to scare them senseless in order to make them into foot soldiers. Um, and that, I mean, you wonder why children are anxious and depressed and people are having, people aren't having children it's because you keep on telling them that the world is going to, to end. Yeah, it's not a great message for uh, inspiring a nation or a people or anything, really. No. Uh, instead of saying, hey, we've got some issues, we might be able to sort them out, you know, or we've got right. some probabilities right. that might not occur, but they might. So let's do something about it. But let's stay right. positive, stay focused, um, you know, be resilient, think about the, 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 the ways that we can create solutions and not get too scared about this stuff. I mean, that's a very yeah, different yeah. message to, you know, yeah. the world's going to end if you don't go out there and suddenly and become a woke lefty. Right. And we understand that it is hyper hyperbolic. Um, and we remember being told that the ozone layer would cease to exist by the time we were adults and, you know, our skin would burn off every time we walked outside. I remember being told that. And I remember also being terrified, by the way. Right. Um, but now I'm a 37 year old woman and I can go outside and I'll, I'm just fine. My skin doesn't burn off. When it rains, my skin doesn't burn from acid rain. And so I have the, the luxury of having the experience of knowing that the experts are very often wrong. Um, children don't know that necessarily. They look to the experts with all trusting hearts and they're taking advantage of that.